Timothy, what's the challenge for you personally on a plan on a back to back? Um, I don't know. Um, I think it's pretty common in this league to play back to back, so we're used to it. So, obviously, uh, coming off yesterday, we're looking to to have a better game today and uh, get a win. It's a divisional matchup, so a uh, huge game for us. What do you take away from yesterday after looking at maybe some of the film and some of the things you want to correct going into today? Um, I think just consistency. I mean, we're up 3-0 uh, after first period, so um, uh, I think we take some chances in the second period and stuff like that, so I think just kind of stick to our game and play good defensively. Uh, I mean, we're up 3 nothing, so we don't have really have to score any more goals, so uh, just kind of, yeah, play 60 minutes. Was the challenge of the Red Wings in particular? Uh, they got skill. Uh, they can score goals, so it's going to be uh, important to, as I said, play good defensively. Uh, but I think if we uh, if we stick to our game plan, we uh, uh, should be able to score some goals and then keep the puck out of our net. You're going to have a goaltender in who's not Martin Jones. What's the key to kind of making whoever that person is kind of comfortable in that from a defensive standpoint? As I said, I, th I think when we were in California, we played good defensively, so I think we just got to kind of try and get back to that. Uh, didn't give up much, so uh, get back to playing that way. Is it always a fine line for defense? A couple of, a couple of you guys scored last night, aggressive, and you took advantage of some good forechecking. Always a challenge, though, to watch both ends to not get too risky? Can you say that again? Sorry. Your defense has got a couple of goals last night. Is it always a fine line not to get too risky to go in too far? Yeah, I've, yeah, obviously. I think as a defenseman, your main priority is to keep the puck out of your net. Uh, at the same time, if there's opportunity to uh, join the rush and, in my case, kind of sneak down and put one in, you obviously want to do that. But as I said, like, the main priority for, for defensemen is to you know, play good defense and then uh, take the offense as it comes. How do you like playing with Pontus? Uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, I think... Uh... Uh, our line has, uh, we've had a couple of pieces move around. I mean, obviously, Yarny and I have been together for, for most of the season, but uh, whether it was Robbie or, or Pontus, I mean, both of them have come in and, and, and played great. I mean, they're both younger guys that uh, have offensive, I mean, a lot of high, like high, high level IQ. And I mean, Robbie's a, a shooter and Pontus is more of a distributor, but can also get to the net and he's strong on the puck, makes a lot of plays. So, I mean, both of them are doing great and, and Pontus has been awesome. When, when it's Pontus out there, is it more Swedish being spoken? How's your Swedish? Yeah, we were joking about it on the bench last night, actually, uh, with Guy. I'm like, man, I wish, he's like, you wish you speak Swedish, eh? I'm like, yeah, that's for sure. But, uh, no, I'll brush up on it eventually here. Why do you think it's worked so well for the line last few games? Um, you know, I think we're just trying to get better every single day, and that goes for our whole team. Um, doesn't matter who you're out there with. Got to be ready to go, and you got to compete and work as hard as you can and execute to our systems. And, um, I mean, second half of the year, so it's only going to get tougher as it goes here, and we're looking for the challenge. What do you think, uh, after looking at the tape yesterday, what do you think went wrong kind of, that you can kind of correct going into the game like tonight? Um, you know what? I think when you, when you come out of the gates and, and you got a 3 nothing lead like that, um, it's, it's, a, it's a team skill to be able to hang on to that, and it's something that we – we can definitely work on, and we're gonna we're gonna continue to work on it. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, there's there's just a level of consistency you need, and, and you got to be able to dial in um, at certain points in the game. A um, little mistake here, a little mistake there, sometimes ends up in the back of the net. And especially when you're playing against some of the best players in the world on a team like Colorado, they got a lot of weapons over there. So um, that was like a playoff game as far as we're concerned. So we can definitely learn from it and, and get better. And best part about it is we get to play tonight. So looking forward to it. What's the challenge of the Red Wings in particular? Good team, really good team. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of speed, a lot of, I mean, a lot of weapons. Again, uh, you, you look at what Kaner and uh, Debrinka can do. Obviously, Larkin, everyone knows, um, it's got a couple studs in the back end, so it's uh, it's gonna be a good test tonight. But we're looking forward to. It. Did you come up on the second half of the year? What are your impressions <coughs> of this team in the first half in terms of the past few months? Uh, how you things? How you think things have gone? Never been one to live in the past, so just where my two feet are, and I think as a group, that's the best way we can focus on it, and this is when hockey starts to get fun, uh, closer and closer to the playoffs, and that's what we're, that's really what we play for, what, we, what, what uh, we're preparing for, so, um, I mean, I love regular season two, but 
it's it's all about the preparation of the ultimate goal. So um, we're building the right direction. Just got to keep chipping away here. Are you a standings guy at all, Max? Do you ever glance and see that things are punched up in the? No. No, it's pretty irrelevant, right? So, yeah, no. What's your reaction to not only Austin, but now Riley, Willie, and Marner going to the All-Star game? No, oh, that's great. I mean, this team's got, I mean, John included. That's, what is that, five All-Stars, realistically? And every year you could have them. Um, so just the way that the format is, it's tough to beat out. Probably the best goal scorer ever when it's said and done. Um, so, I mean, those guys would be All-Stars on any other team every year, so... Um, no, it's it's great for them. I'm really happy for them. They all deserve it, and it'll be great for the city too. Really excited for them. Well, then how did uh, did John take it last night when you limited his ice time in the third period? I took it fine. Like, did you have to talk to him about it, or did he sort of? Mess well, up? I think the message was sent. John knows he wasn't he wasn't his his best last night, but he'll be good tonight. How do you? Go back with that line, uh, between, uh, no, we'll see. How did the? players take last night's game was to move this morning after going over mood's not great you know it's tough it's tough to come in after a night like that right and it's um you know but it's a chance to kind of reframe them reframe some things in their mind and and get them primed for tonight you know and then uh it's always tough on the back to back to wake up and come right back into the rink the next morning as it is but especially after a loss uh, like last night but um you know they, they got time today to, to rinse it completely and Back tonight for a big divisional game. Uh, any lineup changes you can tell, about, tell us about? Uh, Jordan will be out tonight. Uh, Timmons will go in for him. Aside from that, we've, we've got we had a couple injuries last night. Uh, one that's probably going to require uh, a lineup change, and, and then uh, one at least one that'll be a game time decision. So we'll get that sorted out tonight. No. Can you tell us about the goalie who's going to start? Samsonov's going to start today. We just went, we've we've gone through it here, you know. Obviously, yeah, it's a big it's a big decision for lots of reasons, um, both on Samsonov and Hill to be. But you know, you you kind of go through it, and you know, as a, as an organization, you make a plan for Sammy. You know, you know going on waivers and going down, and, and the plan that's, that that the tree had uh, communicated to you guys, and and. Uh, you know, it's a, he's done the work uh, going through, and, and you got to get give him a chance to, to get back in and, and see if that's made any sort of progress. And uh, once the decision is made that that uh, they didn't want him to play any AHL games, I think we need to get him back in the game here and, and see where he's at. So um, we need to do a good job in front of him, and, and he's done the work to to be ready for today. And uh, you know, we'll get him in there. Was so there you, uh, you, game 41 tonight. Where are you with the club with the halfway point here? Yeah, I think yeah we, we chatted about it a little bit this morning. It's a couple things as you approach the halfway point, right? It's it's uh, a chance to reflect, but also know like there's a lot of hockey left to be played. You know, it feels like we played a lot of hockey, and then you you know you're, you're like just halfway there. A lot can happen uh, through it, and I think a lot has happened to this point. And I think even just the last little stretch we've been on sort of shows where we've been, right? At times, really, really good and consistent. You look at the stretch we went on on that road trip and come back to the game against San Jose here. Like, we played different types of opponents and different types of games, but showed, showed a, you know, a lot of maturity in our game and managing those situations, and we were in a good place. Uh, and then the last couple of games, you know, we build leads, we do a good job to get ourselves in positions to win games, and then we fail to close it, which is also kind of showing – where we've been as a team it's been it's been a similar type of situation there so obviously what we're seeking in the second half is greater consistency with, with who we are and you know um that's that's really it and i think tonight as you as you uh you welcome in a a, a, a divisional opponent that's right there on our heels uh i think it's a it's a good chance for us to or to you know start uh start i know it's not officially starting the second half but get to that halfway point here tonight um, as we prepare to go on the, on the road for a difficult road trip and difficult rest of the month, that you know this is a big hockey game for us today. And like I said, I think uh, you're really looking for that consistency in, in who we are. How much you consult Curtis in a decision like using Sammy? Uh, a lot, but it's it's a big it's a bigger decision than just me or Curtis, right? I mean, you got you got guy who's you know our number one goalie, our highest paid goalie, and you got our top prospect. And Hill to be like it's a it's it's a 
organizational thing that you go through all the different pros and cons of the whole thing and, and you monitor the situation and getting Hill to be a game down in the American League was important just to kind of see where he's at and get him that, that game action. Um, so I think you, you go through it all, but it's, when you're making a decision like this, it's not, it's not just a feel thing that whatever the coach thinks. You're, you're consulting everybody and trying to do what's right, right for, the, for, the, for the team and the player. And it's, 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 some of it's bigger picture focused, not just focused on tonight's game. Sorry? Why did you decide to change the things around? Well, I'm just sick of seeing the puck going in our going in our nets in the first ten seconds or whatever it is. You can't just sit around and and do the same old thing. So, you know, two games in a row, it hasn't been good enough off the start. <clears throat> so, just changed it up. Yarn Croc and, and uh, Nylander, I thought did a good job for us uh, in leading the way and and so we just made changing the order something we haven't done. Um, you know, we just gotta gotta try some things different. So, um, that's what we did last night. With the All Star votes coming in last night, how special and important do you think it'll be for uh, Morgan Riley, given he's been here for so long and the fact that it's in Toronto? Yeah, I think very special, very fitting. Um, you know, uh, somewhat surprising that it's taken this long for him to get that acknowledgement. You know, which is probably a mix of a reflection of of uh, the quality of player in the league, but also the quality of player on our team. You know, that he's he's been kind of lost in that shuffle a little bit, I think, perhaps at times. But, uh, yeah, the fans had their say, and being right here in Toronto, I think it's, it's very fitting. He's done so much for this organization. He's been so committed to helping our team find success. He's having such a great year. So I uh, have to be, to be right here and, and representing our team and, and uh, in front of our fans um, and... Uh, front of the league, I, I think is, is terrific for both he and, and William in particular, two guys that are for their first time here in our city and two guys that have been such an important part of our team this season, especially for a lot, a lot of years before this one, of course, but um, they've been terrific uh, for us all season, so it's a wonderful acknowledgement for them and very well deserved. Morgan among the more modest players you coached? Yeah, for sure. I think so. I think that's why, you know, he's so popular every teammate that comes through here. He's, you know, he's a guy that, that pulls people together and he's drawn to, and I think our fans see those same kind of things. Uh, he's a very, very well-respected teammate and player in the league, no doubt.